Hello and welcome. We are going to talk about, uh, or well, we're going to be learning about um, the Connect. I bought a Connect for PC, and uh, it's exciting, and I really like it. So um, we'll talk about how we can we can program stuff for the Connect, whether it's in XNA for games or for uh, applications that we want to create on the desktop. So I'm going to start off by opening up Visual Studio and create a WPF application. I'm just going to call it Skela, or whatever, Skela Test. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, hit OK and open it up. Uh, you'll get your basic uh, startup Visual Studio stuff. So the first thing we want to do is open up the Solution Explorer, right click on References, Add Reference. And you're going to go over here and look for the Microsoft.connect, um, but I have it in recent, so I will just jump to there. It'll be Microsoft.connect inside of the .NET tab. So once you add that, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, let's uh, using Microsoft.connect up at the top. So let's go over to our main window and let's make sure our dimensions are correct because we're going to need a video of 640 by 480. You can immediately see actually down here our height is too small. Let's do 480, whoa, 480 and 640. Yeah. So that may even be a little, let's do uh, 500 by 6. 60. And now let's go to our toolbox and add an image into there. And let's make sure that image height is 480 and the image width is 640. Let's just move that until it's inside of our frame. Uh, there we go. Now let's add another image. You can use this image if you'd like. Uh, I say that because I'm going to be using a URL. So the source for me is going to be http colon slash slash www.ferrisarts.com slash brent.jpg. It's a .jpg. And I want to change the height of that to 180. If it'll let me. All right. To 180. Uh, actually, yeah, 180 is fine. And the width to 180. And I can stick that anywhere in here. I'll just stick it right in the middle. Doesn't matter. And first, I'm going to change its name to face. And I'm going to change the name of the other image that was 640 by 480 to vid. Um, yes. So going over, uh, let's let's make a couple of events. So we want to make. Uh, just click on your main window, go to the events tab, and double click loaded, and then go back again and go to your events tab and go to closing. Open those two up. So you want to dispose of your, your connect data that you're using uh, when you close. So let's start off by getting the sensor. Let's call connect sensor sensor and um, let's go down into the to the loaded window and we can say if connect sensor dot connect sensors dot count is greater than zero so if we have more than one cent or if we have more than zero so if we have any sensor connected we want to set the sensor uh, the sensor equal to the connect sensor dot sensors zero so the first one it finds and that right there is enough to get our sensor up and running uh, and and uh, say hey um, get the sensor but now uh, when I say I, I meant to say up and working but now up and running we need to add uh, a few more statements to this loaded. So let's say if sensor dot status is equal to connect status dot connected. Um, let's do sensor 
dot color stream dot enabled or enable and then sensor dot draw or depth stream dot enable so we're enable the color and depth and the sensor dot skeleton stream dot enable and now we want to set our depth range so sensor dot depth stream dot range is equal to depth range dot near now I want to set this because I am on uh, my Windows computer if you're using an Xbox controller ignore this line and ignore the next line and, ig and ignore the line after that so these next two lines I'm doing after this one ignore all three of these because you can't uh, use it with the Xbox 360 connector as it doesn't have a near mode uh, the near mode is just you know uh, about a foot and a, a quarter away or maybe even less from the sensor it'll pick up your upper body so uh, I wanted to pick up my whole body but um, uh, or really for this example I'm only going to be doing uh, my head so continuing on I digress sensor dot skeleton stream dot enable tracking in near range is true and sensor dot skeleton stream dot tracking uh, tracking mode is equal to uh, skeleton tracking mode dot seated so like I said uh, if you're using an Xbox 360s uh, if using Windows connect only alright so now uh, we're back to what we're doing. We do sensor dot all frames ready. This is just an event saying uh, we have completed uh, all all the all the frames, meaning the color, the depth, and the uh, the skeleton are all ready. Uh, and then we want to do sensor dot start at the end of that. So I hit tab twice to auto generate my function here. Um, but uh, we'll comment that out for now because I don't even think we need that. We'll just delete it. Um, and then let's set the closing. So let's do the closing it will be sensor dot stop. So we're going to stop the sensor when the window is closing. So well, let's begin on our all frames ready. This is what's going to happen whenever we have uh, all our frames are ready when uh, as I told you the color and the depth and the skeleton are ready to uh, be used so let's do a using statement so using color image frame I'm going to call that color frame is equal to e dot open color image frame so uh, now let's make sure that there is a color frame so if color frame is equal to null return so we're just going to end there if it doesn't exist otherwise we're going to create a byte array of pixels uh, so let's just set that up to have the correct size which will be the color frame dot pixel data length that'll get us the length of uh, the pixels data <laughs> it's pretty straightforward so color uh, let's do the color frame dot copy we got a pixel uh, copy the pixel data too and we're gonna copy it to the pixels that we just created and lastly we're gonna do color cam oh, sorry uh, what do we call it we call it vid so we're gonna say uh, vid which is the video uh, or the image texture the image that we added to our main window so vid dot source is going to be equal to bitmap um, by the way uh, you might want to be using no that's fine bitmap source yes bitmap source dot create and we're going to create and the first one it's going to take in is the width so color frame oops, color frame dot width then it's the height color frame dot height then uh, it's gonna be just the DPI we're just gonna set it to uh, 96 
the standard. And then uh, here we need a pixel format. So we're not using an alpha, so we'll use pixel format dot, uh, sorry, format with an S, formats. And we're going to be using BGR32, which is weird because we're used to RGB, but uh, BGR is what they name it. So we'll just do that. So null uh, for, sorry, null for the palette. And then we're going to pack in the pixels and um, the stride, which we haven't created yet, actually. And the stride, I kind of flew over, sorry. The int stride is equal to the color frame uh, dot width multiplied by 4. So the color frame dot width multiplied by 4 is because you have four values in each pixel. We have RGBA. Even though I said we're not using A, uh, that A becomes empty, so it becomes RGB empty. So uh, the stride is just something that it needs in order to calculate uh, the sizing of um, the image. It helps it, uh, uh, it helps it calculate. I, I don't know if I can say it better than they do. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty vague. <laughs> so uh, if you don't know what striding is, you can look it up. But we are. That's basically how we set it. Um, so at this state, I believe we can uh, get the, the, the image from the connect. Sorry about that, I grabbed my connect and plugged it in, so I'm going to press F5 to run the debug. It's going to go ahead and run it, and there we are. We have our connect uh, up and running, um, and we're getting the image from it. So. Uh, there's my MSI laptop I run everything off of so uh, yeah so our video is uh, being rendered to the texture we created um, I won't be able to get to the skeleton tracking in this video but I'll get to it in the next one I'll see you there